Hello and welcome to my channel, everyone. My name is Brian, if you're new around here, but for returning subscribers, welcome back. You light up the room every time I see your face. Thanks for being amazing. And that's what you get for subscribing, by the way. Random free compliments at the start of these videos. Last night, I did something I haven't done in a long time. And so set some context for anybody who doesn't know or hasn't heard me talk about this before. Last night, I played a single player JRPG. I haven't done so in a long time. In fact, that was one of the questions that came up on the stream was what was the last JRPG that I played? And for the life of me, I defaulted back to Final Fantasy 15 because I know that was the last JRPG I played and completed. But then I really started thinking about it. And it's like I started Octopath Traveler, never finished that. And I've probably started another handful of games, but never really finished it. I know I started near and uh, me and my wife are playing through that, but we never ended up finishing it. So honestly, I've had a lot of guilt as a content creator and a player about my pile of shame. I don't know if any of that makes sense to you, but that is to set the context. And so I put a poll out here on the channel asking what did people want to see in terms of a single player JRPG playthrough. I have the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster Collection and I was thinking Final Fantasy IV because it's the Final Fantasy that I fell in love with originally or Tales of Arise, a game that I've been looking forward to all year but in the back of my head going, when will I have time to sit down and play it? And the fact is y'all showed up for the stream and that meant the world to me. And honestly, it was really exciting to see. And it made me think that yes, we can do a single player JRPG playthrough and maybe I can start to clear off some of my backlog. So that's a little bit of a context to anybody who's new is like, I thought this was a first impressions video. Is it worth it for me to play Tales of Arise? And if you're still with me here at this, awesome. You are, you're just a rock star. That's what we're going to focus in on the topic for the rest of this video. I have played three hours of this game and I'm going to be playing more of this game. And so you'll see that if you're curious about gameplay, uh, that will all be as a part of the Tales of Arise playlist. You can go check it out for yourself. I won't be showing the gameplay in this video in case that I ruin it for anybody. So if you're curious, you can go watch that playthrough, check out the combat, check out the visuals, see if it's something right for you. I will be showing the trailer uh, in this video. So that way that's just going to be on repeat and just to kind of spice up the video visually for you. And that is where we are at. Tales of Arise is phenomenal. I think the first Tales game I played was on the PS1. I, the, for the life of me, I'm going to say Tales of Destiny. Chances are like I could be like misremembering history from ps1 to ps5 in terms of this game i'm playing on steam pc gameplay uh, in this case and the experience has been phenomenal i've had issues with jrpgs uh, in this case mostly from square enix over on steam pc uh, so far no issues with the steam client which is really quite exciting to start off i think uh, from a pacing we're going to kind of break this video up into kind of story and pacing no spoilers here we're going to talk about the visuals the scene you know, the sound and and finally combat and I think the story and the pacing, it hits this perfect note to where currently, like in, in JRPGs kind of have these moments where there's sometimes these big gaps and you kind of like have this rush up and build up and then all of a sudden things are kind of a little bit more open. But right now, the pacing to start as a part of like, I guess what you might almost call this the tutorial, three hour tutorial, uh, it's great. It's, it's spot on the moments where you have these character beats. They're really, they fit in really well with the experience and the, the action and the story continues to progress. So I never felt like I was like, well, what should I be doing? It never really gave me uh, like kind of the excuse of like, well, I'm really not having fun. It was okay. Ooh, big action scene. Oh, that looks really cool. I can't wait to do that. Okay. Now we're learning combat. Oh, that feels really good. Okay. Now we're into this next story beat. Okay. Now we're in this next cutscene, And then it just has me excited to continue on that journey. In fact, when you kind of get to this hub perspective and you're like, okay, we're going to do this thing. Um, and it's a big thing and people are going to probably die. And this is kind of the, the almost building up to this chapter. There's this option to also do some side quests during that. And those side quests feel additive to the story. They feel like they progress the overall story. And so I'm not necessarily delaying um, anything. I'm able to kind of play and experience uh, the overall story. It felt really connected to what was going on. So I didn't feel like it was like, oh, hey, go find my cat in a tree. I don't have time for that. There's like real things that are pushing us forward. So the side quest felt like they slotted right in to what was going on uh, at the time. And then going obviously and playing uh, up through that and then kind of, you know, ending the stream where I ended the stream, I thought was a perfect kind of awesome slice of the game. Enough so that I was like, well, should I make this video? And I kept 
I kept coming back to it. Like, yes, like the number one question I get asked is, is this game worth it? And if you're a fan of JRPGs, if you've ever been a fan of Tales, this is a game for you. I did not get this game provided, so I, I paid for the, the Ultimate Edition. And that comes with some perks, some costumes, and I guess a like a boosted weapon right at the start. So I don't know about you and your experience, but that's just me. I'm, I'm not a, I don't buy DLC. I don't spend money like on on cosmetics within video games, but I will buy like an ultimate pack. It's just this weird thing that I, I have. Like you can if the game is 60 bucks and that's all it is, then I'll just spend the 60. But if they have a hundred dollar version, I'll end up always getting that hundred dollar version. I guess it's just just how I kind of justify it in a weird way. But if it was $60 and then there was a, a cash shop, like I never spend a dime on the cash shop. It was, it literally is like, that's just who I am as a, as a gamer. All right. So uh, I thought the pacing was spot on. Perfect. I hope that the rest of the chapters have various, you know, structures of that nature. I'm sure that there's going to be times where there's, it ramps up and, 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 and it falls down, but all in all, I really enjoy the characters. The voice acting for the characters comes alive. Uh, the main actor, it played Noctis uh, from, uh, in the English, uh, like in the English voiceover, and he does, he knocks it out of the park. I really feel like this game comes together uh, audibly and the characters feel so alive that it, it's just a really good, uh, you know, the music and the sound and everything of that nature just fits and it feels so perfectly visually. It's really cool to see them transition from anime into game anime. And this is obviously Bandai Namco. It makes me really excited to see what Blue Protocol has to offer us. Maybe next year we'll see if we hear anything here at TGS. I did a, uh, we we have seen the trailer, um, so I'm guessing we're going to learn about uh, Blue Protocol at TGS, so it has me excited for more of that game, but just the simple fact that I think this game feels very solid, very complete, even within three hours, and that kind of ties me into kind of the third thing I really want to talk about is combat. Combat is amazing. I love how chat was kind of like giving me kind of pointers because at the end of the day, racking up as many combos is really key and it can be very critical to your success and so there's interesting ways that you can go about doing this you can obviously got various powers that they continue to introduce as you play through the game uh, as you kind of have you know like evolve into what skills that you can master and what things you have access to and it really makes it exciting to see how that all comes together and the only really way to kind of experience it is really to experience it for yourself Obviously, like when you encounter an enemy, you go into kind of a battle uh, instance, which is very kind of JRPG classic for me in that regards. I really actually I didn't realize how much I missed that. And then yet it's still action combat. You move around, you attack, you fire off your abilities and you try to rack up as many combos as you personally can. And that comes into some strategy. The other side of it is there's a resource management aspect to it. You get so many what's called CP cure points that you can use to kind of keep your team alive. Resting at, a, at an end or a campsite we will refill this. So it ends up making to say like, well, if we use too much CP now, obviously you have to go back. So it's like, you can still use items to recover, but that aspect of it, and you can obviously increase your CP in different gauges and things like that. But um, all of this combined just is this interesting kind of resource management, uh, you know, JRPG, action RPG, you know, kind of trope. So they blend these things like a really, uh, like a really well stacked deck of cards that I appreciate. So at the end of the day, combat is fantastic. So far, the story is fantastic. And from what I read online from certain people's tweets, it only keeps getting better and better. So it kind of starts off with like what you would say, oh, typical JRPG, but then it just evolves into like a really grand story. And we'll have to wait and see. Ultimately, um, I'm going to keep streaming the game, like I said. So if you guys want to come hang out for that, if you're already well ahead of me, uh, that way there'll be no spoilers for you. But if you haven't played the game yet and you're still deciding, note that um, we're doing a full playthrough voice, uh, letting, the, letting all the story play through itself to really kind of experience it. So no skipping cutscenes uh, here. And so maybe you'll enjoy that series once that is complete. If you guys are on the fence and looking for a good JRPG, especially before a big update to any given MMORPG that like you like, like Final Fantasy 14, for example, um, this, I think, is a really good game to kind of slot in there. Ultimately, we'll have to see how long it is, so don't count this as an official review. I tend not to do reviews on the channel, but we'll we'll see how it goes because I don't really play a lot of single-player games because I never felt like I had the time, and now I have the time. So we're going to we're gonna keep rocking and rolling with it. Guys, let me know what you think. If you like this video, uh, sound off in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions about the game that I can hopefully either answer for you guys in any upcoming videos and or 
uh, during a stream. And uh, just take a look for the, I guess, the main page for any upcoming streams that are scheduled. I think most likely we'll be doing those on Sunday, but there'll be occasional Monday nights where I have some free time so I can sit back and play and, uh, and experience this game as well. So again, thanks for all the support and everybody showing up for the live stream. That really meant a lot. And thanks for watching this video. You are amazing. I love you, love you faces. Hopefully I'll see you in my next one. But until then, guys, take care. A little off topic, but I just want to say thank you for providing me a friendly, fun, and optimistic community, baby. Coming from an MMO community filled with toxicity, this is an amazing breath of fresh air. <laughs> Keep it up, baby. Oh, yeah.